more than 700 people reported to have been killed by the disease since February. West African leaders and the World Health Organization have conceded that the epidemic was outpacing efforts to contain it. In a desperate move to avoid what the World Health Organization said would result into loss of more lives and economic disruptions, if the situation were allowed to worsen, the parties concerned agreed to deploy security forces to isolate the front regions, where 70% of the 1,322 cases have been detected. The presidents of these three countries recognize the serious nature of the Ebola outbreaks in their countries. They are determined to take extraordinary measures to stop Ebola in their countries and take measures not to export Ebola cases to other countries. They agree to focus special attention to the cross-border areas, you know, where the three countries, you know, meet. The common borders <coughs> is an area which account for 70 percent of the Ebola cases. Furthermore, they banned the transportation of anyone showing signs of the disease across borders and pledged to introduce strict controls at international airports to prevent the virus spreading outside the region. There was international alarm last week when a U.S. citizen died of Ebola in Nigeria, Africa's most populous country after flying there from Liberia. Two people isolated in Lagos after coming into contact with him were released on Friday after they tested negative for the disease. The three leaders also agreed to step up efforts to protect local healthcare workers and encourage them to return to work. And with healthcare systems struggling to cope with the highly infectious disease, which requires careful precautions to stop it from spreading, more than 60 medical workers have lost their lives, hampering efforts to tackle the outbreak.